Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And without much further ado, let's get on with the video. Today's video is gonna be a review of sorts because I bought some things off of a website and I love the website, so I wanted to talk about it and be like, yeah, they're legit, they're good, etc. So we're gonna be talking about Redbubble today. Also, before I fully get into this video, if any of you are wondering what my makeup is, because I'm very proud of it today, I'm rocking the Cersei vibes, because for me, Game of Thrones is about to happen. I'm literally staying up until 2 a.m. every week to watch this, but I'm feeling the Cersei today. I have Game of Thrones Urban Decay eyeshadow on my eyelids, um, and I have Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood Lip Lacquer on my lips. And I also have false lashes on, which I never thought I'd be a lash person. But now they just complete every look. Enjoy this art because I spent a long time on it for no reason other than art. First things first, I want to say I am in no way affiliated with Redbubble. I am not sponsored by them. I do not work with them. Maybe one day they'll be like, hey, let's work with her. But for now, this video is completely me, my opinion, me wanting to make this video. Etc. For those of you wondering what Redbubble is, it is a place where artists can put their work and they can get it made into different products and then the viewer of the work can buy said products. That was a very bad way of explaining it. Basically they put your art on the products that they have available and then you can buy them. Also people like to upload weird memes and photos. If you type in whatever you're looking for, I'm sure there'll be at least one person that has made some kind of art to go with it. Like, even when BBC's Atlantis was out, not many people talked about it or watched it, but I still found really cool art on there. If you want to find some really cool artwork and support original artists, hit up Redbubble, okay? Because there is some beautiful things on there. I bought a couple of things from the website a few weeks ago. I think it was probably like a month ago now. They don't charge for import tax, that I know of. And yeah, pretty much all of the shipping was quite fast. I think most of it got to me within a week, maybe two weeks was the maximum. My favourite thing that I bought this time round was actually a phone case, which you might have seen in my end game review. I know at least one person noticed it and commented and I was like, thank you human for noticing this amazing phone case. I wanted something really cursed to go on my phone and Redbubble did not disappoint, okay? So I got, th <laughs> I got this phone case. This is Matthew Lillard from Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed, the live action beauty of a movie. Um, it's the bit where he's being like transformed by all the potions in the like um, mine I think they're in. This I got from eBay, but this was the case. Someone had decided, you know what? Shaggy is supreme and he must be made into a red bubble art piece. And I purchased it. I believe this was something like, I wanna say it was 12 pound. It was usually 14 or something and then I got it discounted because there was a discount going on. Um, this is the soft case. I was choosing between soft and snap, but honestly, I'm happy that I got this one because I think it just protects phones a little bit better. Um, it goes like clear all the way around, but it's just, it's shaggy. I will leave a link to this specific art in the description. I'll leave a link to all the other Redbubble arts in the description because they're all cursed, they're all beautiful and you guys should go and buy them if you want them. Yeah, but that's my phone case. And now we come on to the main event and that is the stickers that I bought from Redbubble. I bought, I think it was 10, maybe 11 stickers. And because of that, I got them all half price. So they were about 95p to like a pound 10 each, which isn't too bad. I will say the stickers aren't the smallest things. So if you're gonna cover your laptop in them, maybe don't go for all of the big ones like I did because I still have a couple of stickers left that didn't fit. For example, the last sticker that I actually have from Redbubble, because I used other stickers as well, um, is a bin. It's a Disney bin. I didn't get to put it on my laptop, but I mean, I could always put it on the inside. I don't know, I, there's a bin. I might just stick it somewhere and then just, you know, pretend it wasn't me. Just throwing trash everywhere. I'm just gonna show you my laptop and then I'll do a cutaway to actually me sticking them on and everything because that's content, right? This is what my laptop looks like now. I hope you guys think it's as cursed as I think it is. So obviously I'm gonna go through like each of these in the cutaway and explain what the hell each one is. But let's just say pretty much all of my favorite things are on here except for Game of Thrones because I couldn't find a really nice one. Um, I was gonna get Needle, but then I didn't. Also, if this isn't me, I don't know what is. I'm ready to be in university and just be like, 
pay. Someone's going to question me, or at least look at me really weirdly, and I'm quite excited because at university it's become a thing that you have stickers on your laptop, like it's just the thing, it's the done thing, but everyone has like band stickers or like um, football stickers or something like that. Meanwhile, I'm over here with my cursed laptop with Fred judging everyone and um, that's the only way it should be, really. Also, I chose this one of Jake Peralta because I'm always cold and I identify with this sticker on a spiritual level. So now I'm going to show you because I thought, why not, um, me sticking my stickers onto my laptop, which I'll tell you gave me a mild anxiety attack. I think it was the fear of sticking something down and then not being able to move it again. But the good thing with Redbubble stickers and the other stickers that I actually had, you can take them up again and try again kind of thing. They don't stick down and then never move. So like if you do get bored of them, they will peel off and not leave marks and not damage your laptop, which is a very good thing because I was worried, but I didn't need to be because they're fine. And oh, it's so cursed and I love it. I'm going to stop talking here and let you enjoy whatever I put together with me doing some DIY. Enjoy. So the first two stickers I have are of course the bin one that I've already said and I had to get a Sebastian Stan one. Then the next one is just a Scream reference one. Um, it's like my favourite line from that film, which is of course my favourite film. I got this sticker pack of Kermit, which are like loads of tiny little ones. And then I also got a Harry Potter sequel sticker, which is an amazing musical if you haven't seen it. It's here on YouTube. I'll probably leave a link in the description. Next ones are quite obvious. As I said, Jake Peralta being cold is literally me. And then the other one is Kermit drinking orange juice because that's me. On the left you have a little puppy version of Bucky Barnes and then the other one is Skeet Ulrich's character from Scream. This is just a really cursed picture of Fred and I think it's hilarious. And then the other one's just another little sticker set which is Jeffree Star sipping tea because it's Jeffree Star. These stickers I actually got from Comic-Con except from the Gauntlet one which my friend Steffi got me for Christmas. The chibi ones are from a stall which I will find out this MCM Comic-Con if I can find them again because I need the Bucky Barnes one. It sold out last time but I love them and of course I had to get Nomad Steve. These ones were actually magic mail that I received from Little Magic Pixie, previously known as Little Magic Panda on Instagram. They draw their own designs and then get them made into stickers and I absolutely love them and I'm really thankful that I was gifted them. I wasn't paid to say this or anything. It was just a purely Instagram thing but I just just really wanted one on my laptop. Now this one is from a company I go to quite a lot and it is Beastly Beverages. They are at Comic Cons like all the time. I saw these ones and I fell in love and I needed them and I'm really hoping they have more this year because I just... I love Beastly Beverages. One thing I had to do with these stickers was actually cut around the designs because the white space that it gave you as part of the sticker was kind of too much for me and I just wanted to kind of bring that closer to the actual design so it didn't take up as much room. And then I ended up with all these stickers with less white space around them so they all fit onto my laptop in a nicer way. This bit was the thing that gave me a mild anxiety attack because I was so scared I was going to stick one down and not be able to come up but as I said they do come up quite easily and I just stuck them all down in this pattern because it's super cursed. It just, it's super cursed. Sticking little Jeffree stars everywhere because you know you can never have too many Jeffree stars. Oh and Dabbing Kermit is back which now all I think about is Hulk. Anyway, this is the outcome of my sticker session with my little Kermits and Jeffree Stars around all my favourite things. And there are other stickers that I wish I'd put on there like Lucifer and Game of Thrones and probably like Doctor Who and stuff like that, but I just didn't really have enough space. I'm gonna take you back to past Amelia to finish this video. And there you go. That is my new cursed laptop. Um, it's everything that I wanted it to be. I love it a lot. I'm very excited for the weird looks that people are gonna give me. And I'm just, it just, it just feels like mine now, you know? Just, it feels very unique and very me. And I feel like I should probably get like a protective cover to protect these stickers, but we'll just see how it goes. That is today's video. Um, I know it wasn't the most exciting thing ever, but you know, I wanted to talk about Redbubble. I just had an urge and I now can't say the word Redbubble. Redbubble. Red bubble. It's very hard to say once you've said it about a hundred times, which I'm sure I have by the time I finish filming this. But anyway, that is everything I have to say for today. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to carry on watching this face, I do Marvel videos, Disney videos, a lot of fandom stuff usually, reaction videos as well, then please do not forget to subscribe just here, then click on my previous video just here, and here will be a link to a recommended video. But until next time, bye!